The United States National Security Council took a decision to regime change Imran Khan. Pakistan, a country of 220 million people, just like that, the National Security Council decided that their Prime Minister had to go. How's that for interfering in other countries' politics? They conveyed it through Under Secretary of State Mr. Lu L. Yu, who actually wrote it in a letter to the leaders of the opposition in Pakistan in terms, and I paraphrase, but only just a paraphrase. The letter said that relations between the United States and Pakistan would not improve as long as Imran Khan remained Prime Minister. And that the only way that uh, relations could improve is if an election were to return someone else as Prime Minister. As clear an intervention in someone else's sovereign affairs as it is possible to imagine. Unfortunately for the United States, this letter found its way into the hands of Imran Khan. The proximate reason for it is obvious enough. Pakistan has the closest possible relations under all prime ministers, indeed even under military dictators in the past, with the People's Republic of China, its neighbor. And that was difficult for a United States bent on regime change in Beijing to handle in the first place. But on the first day of the Russian military operation in Ukraine, where was Imran Khan? He was in Moscow signing a deal with President Putin to receive at knockdown prices a guarantee of Russian gas and a guarantee of Russian wheat in order to heat his people, in order to feed his people, in order to keep the wheels of industry turning for his people. In other words, he was doing his job, his duty as the Prime Minister of Pakistan. But this double harness of a Pakistan in closer cooperation with Russia and in an ironclad alliance with China lit a fuse which they hoped, still hope, would lead to the explosion of Imran Khan's premiership. They put together a motion of no confidence which the speaker just kicked out of parliament this very day because it was the fruits of a foreign conspiracy and because Imran Khan had already asked the president of the country to dissolve the National Assembly and hold general elections within 90 days. General elections, which I confidently predict, will see Imran Khan sweep the country if the United States does not ensure that the army whose top brass are playthings of the United States and always have been. Ever since the country was created, the military which hanged the martyr, Zofikar Ali Bhutto, the military which overthrew elected prime ministers like Nawaz Sharif, like Benazir Bhutto, if the military rigs the election, uh, then there will be serious trouble in Pakistan, a mighty country in a strategically vital place in the world and of course in possession of a fleet of nuclear weapons. It doesn't get much more dangerous than that. Even worse, they may kill Imran Khan, their cricketing hero, uh, their prime minister who has stood tall and been visible throughout the world as a champion of justice in Pakistan, in Asia, and in the world. 